Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Bryn, and if you're new, welcome. Today I have a really fun haul video, and before I get started, I just wanted to mention that I have been struggling lately with some health issues. I know I've mentioned it in a few videos, but um, I've been having some really annoying symptoms for quite a while now, and I do have appointments scheduled um, to see like some specialists, and I actually, in a couple weeks, I have to get a CT scan. Um, but it has been causing me to have a lot of anxiety. Um, if you guys also didn't know, I have an anxiety disorder. And it's really difficult for me to film videos because it's just really difficult for me to do function in life when I'm constantly worried about my health. So um, with that being said, I did decide to do a little bit of retail therapy. Uh, so I went to the mall um, and went shopping. The, the reason I mention that is because like, if I seem a little off, I'm sorry, I, my anxiety is just really up there right now. I know once I see the doctor and they tell me everything's okay, um, I will have a lot le less anxiety about it. But let me show you guys what I got from the mall. So first off, actually this I didn't get from the mall. I did get from TJ Maxx. Um, some some of you have TJ Maxx in your malls, but I don't. But I did get one thing. I love this store. You guys know I've been sh I be shopping in there all the time. Um, but I did see a pair of shoes. I never really get shoes from TJ Maxx, but I saw these and I like had to have them. I don't know why. Like it was such a random impulse buy, but um, it's these Reeboks. And I don't know. They are just so like throwback. I don't know. They're so 80s maybe. I feel like these type of shoes are so like in right now is like the old grandpa Reeboks and like the New Balance shoes. So they were actually really pricey. They were $49.99, which is actually really pricey for TJ Maxx. But I guess these are originally $75, so that is still a really good deal. But I just thought they were so cool, and I just, like, had to have these. So these are super dope, and I'm going to wear them. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's what I got from TJ Maxx. Next up, I want to share with you guys what I got from Sephora. So I don't have a bag. I just got two items. But the reason why I went in there is Laneige has a new lip, what is it? Lip sleeping mask in a cotton candy flavor. And shout out Leah Janae on YouTube because she's the person that turned me on to them having it. So here's what it looks like, the box. And I think this was $24 if I can remember, right? But this is so cool. It's like swirled pink and blue and it's so pretty and I smelled it in the store. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. It smells like blueberry candy. It smells amazing. So I had to pick this up. I, I don't know. I have tried Laneige before and I've tried like the berry one and I didn't think it was like that amazing. But I want to get a, give it another try, uh, especially with this fun flavor. So definitely had to get that. And then while I was in line, you know they have like the small little minis and I had to get something. So I did get the Paula's Choice uh, Liquid Exfoliant. And I follow the McKnight Twins on YouTube. I love their videos. And I, Emily was talking about um, how she loves this product and I really I've been buying products non-stop to try to get my skin to be like smooth and get all the dead skin off from winter so I'm really hoping this works this was $13 just for this tiny little thing so hopefully it does really excited to try that 
So that's all I picked up from Sephora. I need to stop shopping there because my wallet is like, girl, you can't afford Sephora right now, okay? Uh, next up is Victoria's Secret Pink. And I had, the reason why I bought some more stuff from here is my husband actually gave me a gift card for Victoria's Secret for Valentine's Day. So you know I had to purchase a couple of things. Uh, first up is, let's just start with Victoria's Secret because I only got one thing from there. I did get the Victoria's Secret Tees Candy Noir. I have been eyeing this perfume for literally so long. And with my coupon, this was only $10 or actually it was only $9. So super good deal for this mist. And I don't think it has the scent notes on here, uh, but I don't know, like something about it when I got home, <laughs> I probably should have really smelled it a little bit more in the store, but um, it's heavy, like on a patchouli note, or it almost smells like kind of medicinal in a way. It's like got a really strong, like, woodsy note in there and it doesn't smell like candy i will tell you that right now um so i don't know if i'm gonna keep this my husband said he really liked it <laughs> so i might keep it i might not we'll see and then heading over to the pink section i picked up a couple of body mists because they're on sale for six dollars dollars <laughs> They were on sale for $6 and that is like unheard of. Usually they're like 20 bucks or something on sale. So, um, yeah, so I saw this one, it's the pop jelly line. I think maybe like what, I don't know what pop jelly is. Is it something from the eighties? Let me know in the comments if, if you guys know what it is, but the vanilla and dreamy scent is sweet pear, pink jasmine, bubblegum pop. When I saw that it had bubblegum, you guys know I had to pick it up and it smells really good. Actually, I don't think it really smells like bubblegum. It just kind of smells like a really sweet candy vanilla scent and I absolutely love it. So, and it's sparkly, but it's just the packaging, like the actual liquid is not sparkly, but got that one and then the whole reason I actually went in there was because again Leah Janae mentioned this scent just came out and it is Sunset Gelato and the scent notes are pistachio gelato caramel drizzle and sea salt so obviously pistachio is so hot right now like it's everywhere but I love it so let's spray a little bit of this one Oh my gosh, you guys, this one smells so good. It honestly, it reminds me a lot of Sol de Janeiro. They're like, um, you know, just the regular scent. I forget what number it is, but it smells so good. It honestly might even be a little sweeter than that one. So had to get this. And then I decided to get another sweatsuit because I don't have enough, clearly. <laughs> And I felt the material of this and it is so soft. I feel like Victoria's Secret Pink has the softest like sweatsuits or um, sweatshirts. You guys have to just go feel them for yourself. But I got this gray set and it's just like the Heather Gray, which is really in right now too. Everybody has a Heather Gray sweatsuit set. And at the bottom, it just has... Um, it's cuffed at the bottom and it just says pink and like cursive and white. It, but you guys, the inside material is so soft. It's so nice. This um, band at the top is actually really thick and the material is kind of thin, but it's still really soft. So there's that. And then the top is just this. Again, Heather Gray with the pink in cursive. There's nothing on the back. It's just plain. Um, but the top is kind of unique because it goes up on the hood. You can see. 
um like it goes the zipper goes all the way up on the hood which i i don't even know what that's called but super comfy and soft i absolutely love this set and i definitely when i was shopping you guys i was definitely in the mode of like self-care treat myself i've been had since i've been having so much anxiety lately I really want to just like wear a comfy sweatsuit set and smell good and just light a candle, which brings me to my next store, <laughs> which of course it would not be a mall haul without Bath and Body Works. You guys know I'm obsessed with this store, but they just released a new bakery line, which <laughs> I love bakery scents, of course, like hello, the gelato spray. So I definitely had to pick up a few. So starting off with, where is it? Starting off with the classic that you guys know that I love, Paris Cafe. I love this candle, it's my favorite scent ever. Rich Roasted Coffee Sugared Brioche Vanilla Creme. And if you guys have never smelled Paris Cafe, just go smell it. If you like coffee scents, you'll definitely like this. Um, it's very, very coffee heavy, strong, forward. I think my husband just got home. Hi, babe. Hello. I'm filming. Good, how are you? I said I'm filming a video. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. You can come say hi if you want. Um, so yeah, Paris Cafe, it's very strong candle. If you don't like strong coffee scents, I would definitely wouldn't pick this up, but it also has a hint of like a donut or like a croissant scent in there, which is the brioche note. Um, but it's just a really sweet coffee scent. So love that. Had to get that. Oh, the packaging is super, super cute. It's like a little bakery cafe, like a little latte, super cute. Uh, the next one that I picked up was actually Casey's favorite candle, and it is the Cherry Blossom Pound Cake. <laughs> I'm actually kidding you. He really didn't like this one. <laughs> um, Cherry Blossom Whipped Pound Cake Vanilla Frosting. Come tell them how much you love this candle. The, uh, the Cherry Pound Cake? <laughs> Uh, Tell them what you thought of it. I, Come. Uh, okay, all right. So, I kind of thought it smelled like a, like a diaper. Okay, so I will say this is very, but to me it smells like soap. Like it kind of like an older lady soap. You know those soaps that you put on like the counter, like that older women put on the counter and they're like shapes? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean like little right. seashells or what whatever and like you're not supposed to use them they're like just for decoration right. but you'll go over there when you're a kid and you'll use them anyway and you'll get yelled at by your grandma yeah I, I know that's what they that's what this smells like <laughs> and he says it smells like a diaper which I don't get that at all that's crazy yeah it smells like a diaper but anyway I decided to get it because the packaging is really cute I think it's actually cherry blot like the cherry Japanese cherry blossom candle mixed with like something else I don't know to make it pound cake but the more I smelt it in the store the more it kind of smelt like cherry to me so I'm hoping that'll come out when I burn it. I don't even know if I'm going to burn this one. It's like, it's not great, you guys. I'm not going to lie. But, man, it's just like, it, it smells like a soap or a shampoo or something like that. I don't know. I just, I got it. I, I'm not going to lie. Let's be real. I got this for the packaging. Okay. And then <laughs> moving on to the best scent of the collection. And actually, I got two of these, and it is the Main Street Bakery. So, when I first saw that they're going to put out a Main Street Bakery, I thought it was going to smell like cinnamon rolls or like something like that. 
but it actually has banana in it, which I love banana scent. So this is fresh banana, vanilla wafers, cinnamon sugar. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, this one's really light. Like, I can actually barely smell this one, which I'm kind of sad about. It doesn't smell like the banana nut muffin one or the banana bundt cake. It does, it kind of smells like banana pudding, like everybody's saying, like you kind of get like the Willa, Na Willa Nafer. <laughs> oh, what is it? Vanilla wafer. <laughs> You guys, I'm sorry. Today's been rough. Uh, the vanilla wafer scent mixed with like a hint of banana. But I really hope this burns stronger than it is on cold because I got two of them. And I love banana scents, but they're just, they're never strong enough. It's hard to get an authentic banana scent that's like really strong. So there's that collection. Super excited to burn those and try them out. But that was, this was just a really fun little mall haul. It People don't really shop at malls anymore. It's kind of sad, but I do. <laughs> so this is just what I purchased from the mall. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys are having a rough day, like don't forget to just relax treat yourself, you know, put on your comfy little outfit, maybe watch a movie, light a candle. And it's just one day. It's okay. You can rest and relax for one day. So I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.